So hey friends, <clears throat> good day everybody. Good day to you. Um, okay, here's some uh, 928 torque tube activity, removing the torque tube bearings and damper. Um, I ordered a set for two, but uh, the parts house I got them from um, gave me what I need. And I'm not quite sure uh, how these uh, bearings come off the damper in the middle. I, I don't know yet. I'll figure that out. But I want you all to see uh, just how I did this. And you can make your own tool. And I'd recommend or, or I'd welcome you to do it just like like I have done because I have seen lots of well maybe not lots probably about three or four different videos on YouTube of people going to uh, make rigs make jigs to remove their torque tube bearings I've seen people lay their torque tube on the floor putting two by fours extending way out here um, in, in pulling them out that way. I've seen a guy stand on a ladder, pounding out the bearings. Um, all those methods work for them and they'll work for you. But I was looking for something a little bit more simple, uh, a little bit more mechanically um, sound, you know, using steel and deliberate, uh, you know, steel tools that I built to get these things out. Um, so what I, what I did, and I'd recommend that you, um, let me just show what this is. Let me try to get a good rendering, um, to show just how long these things are. Okay. So I believe this is a five eighths rod. It's a five eighths rod, and the um, the nut that goes on it. It's a it's a uh, uh, fifteen sixteenths nut on the end, and the rod is. I bought a long one and I cut it down to fit, and it's five feet long. Okay, so if you have a rod that's five foot long, I recommend using two nuts here and I probably put the next one I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put a lock nut right in the middle here to lock both of these nuts on here and pull this out and I made a steel plate out of uh, you know a plate instead of a piece of wood to pull out this uh, this bearing these bearings and the size of the steel plate uh, let me take it off because it has to come off anyways to do the next torque tube that I'm fixing to do so it's about three and a quarter diameter steel plate okay and it's uh you know, eighth inch thick. And you just put it on, on the rod. What I did is I ran the rod all the way through. And I'll, I'll do it on the next video. I'll show you in the next video on the next torque tube. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the uh, camera jig all rigged up. I don't like getting this oil grease crap on the floor. Um, but... It's all part of the part of the operation here so let me turn off my head light and let's just go and start doing this and I'll show how I'm doing it doesn't mean that it's a way that you have to do it so I don't think it matters if you start on one end versus another end 
I don't believe that matters one bit. So I'm putting the, um, I'm not quite sure if I can, if you can see this. Yeah, let me move this can of grease. I like using the penetrating oil from Kimball Midwest and squirt in here quite heavily. Make sure you get a lot of, of lubrication on the threads. And I notice how I have the torque tube up at an angle so the oil will drain down in and penetrate. And I found this to be the best penetrating oil ever. It works better than PB Blaster, works far better than WD-40. Um, you can only get it from the tool supplier, Kimball Midwest, highly recommend it. So you should have a clear view of that right now. Let me bring the camera and show you just this end, how I'm putting this on. So I put this on. And, and there should be a washer yep, right here. Put the washer on. And put one nut on. I don't know if I have a lock washer. I don't know if I do. I don't think I do, so I'm going to just utilize like I did before. Just put two on there and just make sure they're a little snug together. Okay, put the light there. Come back over here. Pull that out. Go in. Now there's a lot of a lot of this so i won't waste your time i'll be right back okay i ran the nut all the way down the uh shaft and I'm, i made it snug one thing you have to be alert to um is when you turn the nut sometimes the shaft will turn as it's turning right now so you can either clamp a vice grip here and then re-chase your threads to clean them, or you can grab onto it like I did on the last torque tube, and I was able to render it that way. But this one, I'm not sure. Um, the reason why this rod is sticking so far out is because when I pounded the drive shaft out, it pulled the bearings way up it pulled them wow, kicked up a lot of dust it pulled the bearing right there in the smooth area it pulled it all the way up so that's why there is junk in there and you can see the wetness from the um, um, the Kimball Midwest penetrating oil, it did penetrate through those bearing rubber uh, flanges. So that's a good sign. That's a very good sign that that is that way. So I'm gonna put it on time-lapse now and do the rest of this removal. Okay. Okay, that was a rather uh, long process to do that. And I'm gonna mark on my, um, this shaft here where I put the clamp on it so I can go ahead and <clears throat> chase those threads 
in the exact spot so I don't run it down too far. So now, what I will do is I'm gonna back this nut off a little bit. Then I'm gonna use this as a handle and punch out, pull out these bearings. Okay. Just do it this way. There's one. This one did not even have a damper in it. Wow. No damper in this one. Hmm. Not a good sign. Which one is this? Okay. Wow. The 81 does not have a damper. That's very, very interesting. Very interesting. They spin pretty freely, but uh, I'm going to change them nonetheless. Get them all changed out. That's very strange. I don't know why there is no damper in the 81. That means there probably is not a damper in Allison's 79 model. And on the 79, <clears throat> they are a longer drive shaft torque tube. It is about an inch and a quarter longer, this one, than the later model cars. So next up is I'm going to pull this one apart tomorrow morning and ascertain how many bearings are in that one? And I've got the new ones right here. But I don't know. Okay, there's damper right here. And there's, wow, I've got enough for, I've got enough for two torque tubes. I do, I've got, wow. Okay, so. I've got enough here to rebuild the 83 and my 82, or excuse me, 81. But I'll probably hold off on this one. And if her torque tube only has three, I'll use those bearings I have here for hers. Anyways, I like finding solutions and I love it when I have the right stuff. Thank you, thank you to uh, 928s R Us and Mercedes and her crew for um, sending me exactly what I needed, even when I wasn't sure that this is what I needed. Crazy. Anyways, cheers!